Hey, Jay. Can you bring his mic? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just have a seat right here. Yeah, sit next to me. We're going to just chat for a second and have a little, little, little get to know you time. Hell yeah. Uh, thank you so much. That was such a great set. Let's give him another round of applause. Thank you. Mohanad. I am, yeah, just killing it. You're killing it. <laughs> yeah. Killing it here in Portland. What made you, uh, did you come immediately to Portland when you came to the U.S.? Uh, yes, I did. Why I, Portland of all I places? I did. Uh, well, I wish I had a, a better story, but because I came uh, through an exchange program when I came here because I studied at PSU. Uh, and uh, they picked Portland for me. Okay. Yeah. Can you make up a better story for Absolutely. Us? So I watched Portlandia. Okay, great. And great. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so whimsical. That's a much better story. Yeah. 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 Um, so had you been, it was funny because when I first moved to Oregon, actually, there was um, uh, a lot of Japanese tourists because they saw this show called Sweet Home Oregon. And oh. so there was this awareness, like Little House of the Prairie, for, for a lot of us. Were you even aware before you came here of, like, Portland or Oregon culture? I had no idea that Oregon existed, to be honest. No. <laughs> so um, was, uh, yeah. was your perception, like, is it going to be more like New York or L.A.? Exactly, or? yeah. Because, like, all, it, like the, uh, all I, I saw on TV was, like, basically like, just, like, big cities like New York or just, like, L.A. or San Francisco. And then I came here, I was like, oh, it's green and there are dogs, okay. Uh, there are no people, oh, I, I can fuck with that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome, did you come from a bigger city or a smaller Yeah, town? well my city was big and uh, I, I come originally from the city of Benghazi. Uh, you don't have to give me a standing ovation for that. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it is big, it is big. It's a population of like uh, one million people. Uh, yeah, it's a huge city, yeah. So uh, so your name is Mohaned. Yeah, with an N. And yeah. people always want to call you Mohammed. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, they look the same, also people are idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say, we don't know, we know Muhammad uh, yeah. as a public figure, probably vaguely. Is yeah. Muhammad like Muhammad's younger brother, or is there? It was actually the name of his sword. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it is 100% true, I'm not making that up. Yeah, which is kind of like, ooh, I'm like, who names their sword? I'm like, I'm going to change one letter. Yeah. <laughs> But that was smart, though. I mean, say what you will about the Prophet Muhammad, and you shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that was clever. That was clever. <laughs> yeah, and and it's it's an interesting thing to name your child after. It would be like if I had a child named them Excalibur. Exactly. Yeah, or like um, I don't know, Machine Gun Kelly or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah. Water gun Sally. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Or, or Rock. The Rock. Yeah. I guess The Rock is also named true. after a weapon in Pennsylvania. That's very true. So. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you know, there are racist dogs, by the way. There are many racist dogs. I know. I know. It's funny because people are like, uh, dogs can only see black and white. I'm like, that's what racist people do. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. So it sounded like from the beginning of your set that maybe you're not too optimistic about 2019 being much different than 2018. I mean, it's just the time passes. <laughs> like seriously, it's just a passage of time. It's just the Earth like made a circle around the sun. And if people don't change stuff, it's not gonna change. It's just gonna be the same. It's not just gonna change all by itself, Mohammed? It, it's not, I'm sorry. <laughs> To break it to you, it's not gonna change. It's gonna be the same unless people do something about it. Yeah. 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 What are you gonna do about it in 2019? Oh my God. Uh, so I have this big. It's mostly like so it had to do with health and stuff, fitness. But one of my main resolutions is uh, to continue to never run a marathon. That's great. <laughs> I think that's an excellent yeah. resolution. Yeah. Yeah. You can give that a round of applause. Yeah. I think that's noble and important. Yeah. Cause is there any other New Year's resolution? Uh, I don't know. Honestly, it's mostly work things. I just like want to write more and mm -hmm. like uh, perform, especially like I'm doing this uh, thing now full time, and it's gonna be the first time not having a day job yeah. where I crush my soul. So now right. I get to uh, crush my soul on stages, which yeah. is amazing. 
<laughs> that sounds good. Uh, you, I mean, you've been doing stand-up for like two years? Uh, exactly three years. Three years yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I mean, your level of success in three years yeah. is something that most comics would literally kill for because they're not healthy yeah. people, oh, stand-up wow. comedians. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Uh, in a three-year span of time. And, and what do you think, you know, obviously you work hard and you're a great yeah. writer. What else do you think is contributing to your success that you've been having? I mean, I don't know. I try to, uh, I mean, obviously, like, I come from, like, a different place and I have, like, a different perspective and stuff like that. Uh, but a lot of people do. But I try to be smart about it. Like, I've done so much, like, research and, like, studied. I, I study comedy more than anything else. Like, I, I just don't come without, like, because uh, at the time I was in college, so I treated comedy as if it was, like, some, like, uh, a academic like a pro study. exactly something yeah. like a project that I have like I'm getting an A on this so that's just what I did <laughs> yeah yeah so like I was my master or whatever mm -hmm. so that's what I've done yeah so I and think is there a lot of stand up in Libya there's comedy but like in mostly it's like plays or like theater or like like uh, sitcoms or so stuff like that and they're like similar to sitcoms here in the U S as in they are not funny yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, I, it has been super fun to have you. Thank and, you so much. And you'll much. be on Late Night Special coming up. Yeah, in January. In January. Yeah, yeah. We'll have Mahan.